Oh, all right, so hi guys, I'm Patrick Holland, and I have one of the most exciting products at CES next to me. It's the Y brush, and I'm here with the head of the company, Benjamin Cohen, so thanks for joining us. Yeah. Hi. So um, uh, a joke at CES is that there are smart toothbrushes, a toothbrush with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Your toothbrush doesn't have any of that, but it claims to be able to clean all the teeth in my mouth in 10 seconds. Why did we need to have this brush? You need, you need to have this brush because usually people don't brush their teeth for two minutes. Uh, the average brushing time is more about one minute or less. And then the efficacy is low, and then you have dental plaque, and when you go to the dentist, you have to pay a lot. Okay, uh, well, let's go back to that. Like, it's, you, did you just hate brushing your teeth? You're like, man, I'd love to be able to do this in 10 seconds. Like, what was the impetus to go, like, I should get into the toothbrush industry? Mm, the thing is, um, the, the conventional toothbrush is a chore for many people, so uh, I was hating to, to brush my teeth, and then that's why I entered in the, in the toothbrush industry. But I have worked before many years in the health sector, so even if I'm not a dentist, uh, I know a bit the, the health. <laughs> but you play one on CES, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Can you walk us through? We have the Y brush here. Um, I'm guessing it's called the Y brush because of its shape. Let's just be yeah. basic. But can yeah. you walk us through like the features of the white brush? Sorry. <laughs> like what, what makes you it able to ah. brush your teeth in 10 seconds? We have a handle here able to um, vibrate to uh, provide some vibrations, some sonic vibrations. We have three modes, one, two, or three, for low sensitivity gum and high sensitivity gum. Uh, so the handle provides vibration to the brush, which is very flexible, uh, so that it can fit with every jaw. It's not a custom-made uh, mouthpiece. Um, and with fine nylon bristles inside the mouthpiece, it's able to brush um, the teeth like a standard toothbrush, like an electric toothbrush, but instead of brushing the teeth one by one, it brushes the teeth at once, all, the, all at the same time. So let me ask you a little bit about the design there, because uh, the bristles, they look like they're at different angles and stuff. It's that, how did you determine what the angle is and how many nylon bristles to put in there? Mm. Uh, we had to, w during the development, we had to put the bristle with an angle of 45 degrees because when you go to the dentist, they recommend to brush your teeth for two minutes, for us it's 10 seconds, but um, with a vertical movement, with uh, an angle, you have to angle your toothbrush with an angle of 45 degrees. So here, the the bristles are at this angle. Um, and on the mouthpiece, we have a um, dozen of thousands of bristles. Yeah. And um, as far as like the mouthpiece, is it like a regular electric toothbrush where I gotta swap that out every six months? Uh, for a regular toothbrush, usually you, you, you switch your, your, your toothbrush. Thank you. You, switch, you, you replace your toothbrush every two or three months. Here, you can uh, replace it every six months. With, uh, with oh, very cool. um, we'll share the mic again. You get to see the behind the scenes here at CES, and that's the best part of being live. Um, so with this toothbrush, so I have a 10-second brush time, but how much toothpaste do I have to put in there? It seems like would I have to put a, a whole stretch of toothpaste? The first point is uh, you can keep uh, your, your toothpaste. We, you, you don't have to buy your toothpaste uh, on our store. And we have an adapter which is able to put the right uh, volume of toothpaste, the same as you use uh, today, for example, with your conventional toothbrush. Um, we have another one adapter uh, for kids. It's like this one. And the toothpaste goes uh, through the tongue. <laughs> so you can put... Um, a fine line of toothpaste in, in, the, um, in the mouthpiece. I have my own mic now. This is, it's like a magic show here. We got microphones, audio. We have, so this little head, you could put toothpaste in there and then they would squeeze uh, the head and toothpaste would come out with the tongue onto yeah. the mm -hmm. device. Um, so I just want to make sure you're being clear. So we're not like, you're not basically siloing people. You have to buy our toothpaste to use an R brush. It's like a proprietary thing, right? Uh, the, the brush is proper, yeah. yeah. The yeah. brush is, but the, the toothpaste brush. is not. The toothpaste not. Okay, so what has been the reaction that people have had to this toothbrush? Because people ask me about it, I had a folding laptop, a 17 inch screen that folds in half. Hardly anyone's talking to me about that, but everyone's asking me about this toothbrush. Why do you think people are so enamored with the idea of brushing their teeth in 10 seconds? Uh, we have very good customer feedbacks uh, because at the first time they say, but my, my dentist recommended me to brush my teeth for two minutes. It, it's crazy, it, it cannot work. But when they try, 
uh, and when we explain them, the, we, we explain them that um, it works like um, like a conventional toothbrush. It does exactly the same job with vibrations, with nylon bristles, but all the teeth at the same time, um, so they understand. And when they try, uh, they after 10 seconds, they with their tongue they go um, on the teeth, and it's um, how to say that it's soft. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, so they said, oh, it works. And then the other thing I get questions is like, why not have the mouth guard be top and bottom? Why not be able to do that at the same time? Because for us, um, the, um, the, the feeling uh, after brushing is very important. If we had put uh, the top on the bottom, the, the mouthpiece would be very big. And we don't want that people have gag reflex or, 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 or so that they say, ah, oh, it's very big, and they don't use after that. So with that, it's very fine and we have good customer feedbacks. So it's absolutely just a comfort thing. That's, so maybe one day there could be a five second toothbrush, but right now we're at 10 seconds, right? It's, it's five for the top and five for the bottom. But if you want, you can, you can uh, have a 10 for the top and 10 for the bottom brushing. You can choose after that. So, okay, so last year you guys kind of announced the product at CS. This year, you, people are actually able to uh, pre-order it on your website. Um, when can I actually brush my teeth with one of these? So you can now uh, order a product on our website. It's available. Uh, we have um, a bit of delay because we have a lot of uh, pre-orders to ship, but we have started to ship last month. Uh, so no, if you order now, you will receive your product uh, in uh, before April. For, okay, before April, that's great. So I basically have to survive the winter brushing my teeth two minutes at a time. That's great. Uh, let me ask you this other question then. Um, a regular... So there are competitor toothbrushes here. We have Oral-B, we have Colgate, um, and some of these toothbrushes cost like $100, $180. How much is this gonna cost me to buy a Y brush? Now it's 125 on our website. In a few months from, from April, it will be something like 150, uh, but it's less expensive than a uh, toothbrush with IEE, sorry, IEE, because um, we want that, um, the most part of people can buy the, the product. Well, I'm excited to try it on my teeth. Maybe one day we can do some uh, wide brush floss because I think that would be great yeah. to get flossing solved. Be great. But Benjamin, thanks for joining us and sharing the wide brush with us.